Hi everyone, how was my last tutorial part about the conjugation of the modal verb kennen in the German language? Do write your reviews in the comment section. So let's look in this last tutorial part at how the modal verb können comes in the German questions and sentences. So moving on. But let us first look at the positioning of the modal verb können and in fact any modal verb in the German questions. So in a question or in questions, the modal verb takes the first place and then it is followed by a personal pronoun or personal pronomen, but it can also be a subject in place of the personal pronoun. So, personal pronoun or subject comes in the second place, and then we have the noun or substantive coming after that and the main verb, the infinitive verb comes at the end of the questions. And this is the structure of a simple question without any other additions. Any other additions to a question that has a modal verb and a main infinitive verb will come in my later tutorials. So let's first look at some examples and let me show you the different meanings that Kennen can have in the German questions. So, first of all, könnt ihr am Samstag arbeiten? This is a question that, for example, a manager can be requesting his workers and asking if they can work on Saturday and that can be the request when there is a lot of work for example and the manager wants the work to be finished quickly so he can request the workers and the request is the bitter and it will come in the form of a question, of course. And here you can see that model verb is in the first place, followed by the personal pronoun, the day, which is the noun, and the main verb. But this question not only shows a request, it can also show a possibility which we call in German die Möglichkeit. Now, how does it show possibility? It shows possibility in the sense that can the workers come on a Saturday to work? For example, if the worker or the workers do not have their own cars, they may find it difficult to use some public transport to get to the office on a Saturday. So, 
this question can show possibility in this sense. Or it can show possibility if, for example, we know that on weekends we are busy with other things, so maybe it is not easy to find time to go to the office on a weekend day. So in this way, a question like this, asking someone to come to work on a Saturday would show a request and possibility also. Then Kenan can also show ability and maybe a request as well. So this question, kannst du das Formular ausfüllen? Is a question asking, can you fill out the form? This shows ability in the sense that let's take the example that this form is a difficult form with many terms that an ordinary person is not able to understand. So if someone asks you if you can fill out the form and you say I can fill out the form, that means you are able to fill out the form. Or let's take the example that the form is in a different language and someone is asking you to fill out the form. If you say I cannot fill out the form, it means that you don't know the language, for example, that is used in the form and that's why you cannot fill out the form. Können can show ability or die Fähigkeit as we call it in German. It can also show a request in this question if you add the word bitter, which is please. So, kannst du bitte das Formular ausfüllen? Can you please fill out the form? So, you are at a doctor's place for the first time and you're registering as a patient. So the receptionist will ask a question like this, handing out a form to you. And if she uses the word bitter, she is requesting you to fill out the form. Then, Kenan can also show some suggestion, which is der Vorschlag in German, or it can show an offer, which is das Angebot. So in a question like this, kann ich das Foto machen? This question is showing a suggestion. If, for example, let's say I am about to take a photo, and by the way, to take a photo in German makes use of the verb machen, which is to do, and not the German verb, which means to take, which is nehmen. So interestingly, in German, to take a photo is to do a photo. So anyway, if I'm about to take a photo and I'm not good at taking photos, somebody could come up and ask, kann ich das Foto machen? So that would be a suggestion or an offer for me. And I could assume that person is good at taking photos. So why not let him or her 
to take that photo. Then Clinton can also show permission, which we call in German the erlaubnis. And that is, for example, in a question, Können Sie im Garten spielen? So let's take the example that a woman has come to visit her friend with her kids. And she has gone into the house and is talking with her friend inside the house. But she asks for permission from her friend if her kids can play in the garden. So that is how Kenan will be showing permission. So this is how Kenan can show possibility or möglichkeit request or bitte ability or fähigkeit suggestion or vorschlag offer or angebot and permission or allowedness. Now, Kenan comes with a different structure of sentences when it is used in the German sentences. And this part of Kenan, how it is used in the German sentences, I will continue in the next week as I not only show you how Kenan is used in the sentences, but also how Kenan can be used with some other verbs and some new verbs in my next week's tutorial. For the time being, I was using the verbs that I have covered in the tutorials till now. So that was all for today. Any questions related to this entire tutorial, you can ask in the comment section. Please like my videos and continue watching the tutorials. Also, do not forget to subscribe to German Tutorials for Beginners and share my channel's name and link with your friends. Thank you.